welcome to to, to the rock gristle um this this talk is called crystal land how it started how it's going um first of all thank you all for for being here whatever here it is for you um i will really love to to have one of this event uh in in person uh because otherwise i feel like i'm talking just to the camera i i need people on the other side um so thank you for being here um what this this won't be a technical talk um i i want to talk about um uh how how crystal reach its current state what is uh, its current state um it it will definitely haven't reached it by by itself uh, it, it it was thanks for a, a lot of the effort of of the community um that we are at this at this point uh, so I want to see where, where where are we and how we got here, uh, but this is not because I want to do a, like a history lesson. But uh, there are a couple of, of goals that I have for for this talk, and I want to state it before so they are a bit more more clear. Um, first, I I think it's 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 a way to acknowledge all the efforts that we all have done. It's harder to see. Uh, the progress when we are focused on, on weekly basis, uh, we, we feel like we are not always moving forward, but uh, taking the time to see how, what are all the things that we have built through through the month, through the years, it's, it's really important. Um, so acknowledge that effort. Um, then there is a bit of how as a community we might move forward from where we are now. Um, and then as a, as a third point, uh, this, this stage is that we went, went through to build something with a community behind. I think it, it, it's not uh, only for a language, it, any sub communities might have uh, some similar stories or might go through some similar experiences. So, so I, I think there's something there. And, and then at an individual level, uh, there is also some understanding of our own motivations or goals uh, while, while collaborating uh, in, in an ecosystem. Um, and all this, I, I want to say with, with, with a humble point of view, because it's uh, maybe you are more experienced than, than me in open source long participations. Although I have been using open source software and tried to collaborate it before, nothing with the scale of, of uh, Crystal has, uh, has happened in, in, in my own experience. So uh, there's that. I, my, this is my, my first long open source participations with the, with the goods and the bads. <laughs> so, um, and before jumping in, I, I need to say thanks to the Crystal sponsors in particular, to Manas, to 84 Coast, uh, Nicola, which are the top current sponsors, but we have a, a, a lot more. So thank you for all the continued support. It's really important. Um, let's, let's get started. Um, the, first, the first thing to come um, is, is, is an idea or motivation to accomplish something, uh, to challenge uh, something we don't feel as satisfied as we want to be. Um, for for us, when 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 we started Crystal, uh, ultimately this this uh, motivation was to to have a language for humans and computers. That is the the, the important goal that should be recalled all the time. That is stated on the on, on the web page. Um, and from there, there are a lot of uh, implementation, design decisions, challenges. But at, at the very essence, our own, our first motivation, I think, was was that even in the in the initial, we usually go into some details. It's, it's hard to keep uh, pure to the motivation at the very beginning because you have a lot of ideas or things you actually want to do. But eventually, it, it's good to have. The, the motivation clearly stated some in, in some way. Um, so 
this was a, the, the first thing you, you need to know what we're trying to, to accomplish. Um, and then what happened, um, sorry, change of screen. Uh, then after we, we have some uh, motivation, we jump on, the, on a proof of concept. And for, for the language, uh, this was coming with a syntax and semantic that is nice for humans and a runtime that is nice for, for the computer to the computer. Um, and this was only possible uh, because we had uh, some, the shoulders of some giants we can stand on like LLVM, the GC, LibVent, and other libraries, without, without those uh, shoulders, uh, it, it wouldn't be uh, a successful proof of concept. We will have the syntax and the semantics, but the runtime wouldn't reach the, the, the point it, it has. So, um, and at, at this point, although the, um, the development was, was public, uh, nobody could actually build something really useful for, for others. Uh, whatever thing that you can do were little toys or tools for, for yourself. It was an accomplishment, but so the stage the, here was a proof of concept that somebody could use eventually, but it was really just that, a, a proof of concept. Um, although the, the development was, was public. And so then what was start to happen is that we reach an, another stage where we uh, start sharing our work and opening communication channels to basically allow en enthusiasts to join us, to find us, or we to find the enthusiasts. We need to meet at some point. Um, I have this uh, quote for, uh, from Timothy Leary that says, who knows what you might learn from taking a chance on conversation with a stranger. Everyone carries a piece of the puzzle. Nobody comes into your life by mere coincidence. Trust your instincts, do the unexpected, find the others. Um, so I think that opening communication channels and it, it really helped at, at this point. We are take, talking ages ago, um, but it, it not only allowed uh, external contributions uh, contributions to to land into the compiler or some the library, uh, but it, it was also for us, uh, for me, really encouraging uh, to get uh, people we didn't knew in person to start using the the project. Uh, it was it, it was surprising to, to to get someone that you didn't know to start uh, playing and, and collaborating, but it was even more encouraging uh, when you see that they start helping each other. It's, it's really great when, when that, that point start to happen. And um, I'm not sure exactly which are the motivations of everybody when they are start joining. Maybe they, they like the language and that is, that is enough. They, they like new languages to, to get involved. I'm not sure which, which are the motivations. Uh, maybe I don't need to, to, to know them, um, but I, I'm really glad that they, everybody started joining. But um, recalling the, the motivation, the, 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 first, the first stage that I mentioned, uh, something that I noticed is that maybe the, the crystal vision or the crystal motto was not um, properly stated in any place. We, we learned that uh, through interaction, it was important to get that idea clear for, for anybody that wanted to, to interact because that will reduce uh, friction, uh, I think, uh, either to accept easier, uh, easily the contributions or, or even reject them because you can say that you, that is not what you are seeking for. Um, so if you have the motivation clear and the scope clear of what you're trying to achieve, uh, it will, it will have, it will improve uh, the communication with your potential contributors, I, I, I think. Um, and at this point, although uh, a community 
um, started to, 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 to become real, to start to, uh, to form. Um, and, and we don't know, um, and, and people we don't know were getting involved, we can hardly say that Crystal as a language or as a stand was, was a real thing at this stage. We, we have enthusiasts, we have people that wanted to, to play and start bu building a, a couple of things. Um, but uh, so it, it was getting slightly, but we are not real yet, I think. Um, on, a, on an internal uh, side note, at this point where, where people start joining, what I sometimes start feeling is more pressure to compare to other projects, to other languages. Um, but at the beginning, this, this pressure was not there. You have, we have the motivation and that was enough to, to get things started. Um, so I, I will say that it, it's important uh, to, to know, that, or in our case, that it's not a competition to build a best language. There is no best language. It's about having one more option that people might, might like. Uh, so avoid comparing to other big players, other languages, uh, and trusting your your instincts. Again, uh, that you are building something, it's it's really great. Um, so trust trust what you're trying to build and let them let them come. <laughs> um, so after after we we have enough. Uh, people starting to, to, to play around. Um, that the thing that, that happens is that nobody builds everything from scratch. Um, we we as, a, as, a, as an industry knows this already from other languages, from other stack. There is an, uh, there's a, a desire to have building blocks, to have them available for, for everybody. Uh, th that has happened in, in the last decade or so in, 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 many, in many languages. And although um, some apps can be built at, at this stage, uh, I think that many, many enthusiasts, many people in the community uh, have as a, as a goal to build packages, to, to become maintainers, um, to fill a gap, to be an, an important player in the community to be able to build something after. But the, the, I will say that the first motivation will be to be the maintainer of some key package of, of, of the community, probably. Um, and I, I think, uh, first, it, it's great. But I, I also think that. Um, it's important for, for some packages, not, not all of them, but some key packages should honor, should ad adhere to this human and computers mode of. Because uh, as Crystal stands on the shoulders of giants to be successful, so will the apps build using Crystal packages. So um, if these packages don't work as, as well, as I, to, to honor this human and computers model, we might offer something that is comfortable to use, but the computer will suffer, or it's a blast in performance and it's hard to use. Um, and that will, uh, I, I think it will not collaborate with a, with a whole vision of the crystal technology stack as a, as a whole. So again, not everybody, like it just needs to be as, as that, but I, I think it's it's important. Um, so we have this we we have a, an ecosystem start to appearing, and and as we get more more people, uh, although these stages I have presented in a linear way in a linear way from enthusiast uh, motivation proof of concept enthusiast. Um, building an ecosystem, they are not lineal. Every stage will give feedback to the previous one and start to, to be iterated. Um, so uh, we, we will have uh, from some packages, we will have new ideas or features of the languages that should go through the proof of concept stage and try to get some enthusiasts and then become 
fully available because having one implementation is, is not, I don't think it's enough. We need to have the, the time for validating each of the new features that we want to incorporate to, to the language because that's everything should have their, their evolution. Um, so after we have some, some packages where we start with having some packages, um, what we have um, is that people, individuals, people can choose packages uh, to, to build something as the main goal, to build an app, an app or something. But the main goal is to build something for some mean and is not building a package in Crystal. I think that uh, this, this story will be a success, is a success or has been a success as long as uh, the person can focus on the problem to solve and the runtime performance and the development experience is more or less acceptable. But the focus is on the thing that you are trying to build and not necessarily the technology you are trying to use. Although enthusiasm um, still plays a, a really important role uh, for picking crystal to, to, to work with. But, but the focus is, is slightly different. Um, and so that's, that's on the development side, but also it started to feel that it got real when there are other missions that start to appearing. Uh, other missions like getting together as a community getting more people involved in the community, having more learning resources, improving the distributions and, and trying to ensure some sort of stability of, of the whole ecosystem. Those stories might not feel as appealing as developing a standard library or, or a, as a language, but it talks about things in, some stuff that are getting more real when, when those stories start to, to matter more or, or a lot at least, I think more. Um, so yes, we, we, I, I think we can say that we started getting real when people can use Crystal as a mean to something else and where are other stories uh, besides coding that, that is, are important. So, and, and at this point, I, I, I want to say that um, without a community that can easily use our tools to, to build um, ecosystem of packages, Crystal will have been only a proof of concept. Uh, without a community, it's, it's, it's just that. It's like um, when a music band um, has a, a concert without the, the audience, it will be just a rehearsal. It's something like that. The, the action is the same, but you, you, you get real when you have people on the other side, um, in, in, this, in the case of Crystal, using the things that you're building up for. So without a community, uh, this, this makes no sense. It, this will have stopped ages ago. So thanks for, for keeping things going for us. Um, so I think that. Essentially, we, we are at, at this point where people can build stuff and it's not only the mean of building packages. Um, so uh, we, without this, uh, well, so many awesome people, it will have been in, in, impossible uh, to, to, to keep the, the community growing. Um, I, I don't want to mention anybody in particular because it's impossible to mention them all. Uh, for sure, all the people that have been a uh, core team uh, are, were really important, but also a lot of people that are really active in the community or were active and have helped each other. It's I have no no words of uh, or how how to be thankful for them. So I think we 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 are uh, here at, at this point, and and I think we are even a, a bit further because some companies uh, already use Crystal for their production for their system. Um, there, there is a, a list that you already probably know in the, in the wiki uh, that, that where you can list what are you do, using Crystal for. These are some of the, of the companies and they are of very different domains. That is really encouraging to not, 
to not uh, be only trying to, to have Crystal use on, on one certain domain. We have a uh, networking, cars, um, uh, cryptocurrencies, genome analysis, security. Um, it, they're great stories, they're really motivations. But I, I think um, that these companies that choose to use Crystal are, are able to do so because the decision makers are also crystal enthusiasts at some point. Uh, maybe more, maybe less, but enthusiasm still plays a big role here. And, and it's fine, we, we got to start somewhere. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's reasonable that those are the, the first uh, players. Um, but uh, so it's obvious that we need people willing to use crystal but I strongly hold that there is also a need for, for companies. I, I wish for companies to choose Crystal, not because of enthusiasm, but because of some more um, cold reasons and be safe in doing so. I, I want Crystal to be a safe option for, for that. Um, so um, first, why, why will we need um, companies uh, to, to use Crystal, to choose Crystal? And again, I'm not, just, I'm not saying companies as a sponsor, but companies as, as users. Um, for sure, it will increase the user base of the language and packages, and it, it will push the development of ecosystem and tooling, uh, bringing valuable feedback of real scenarios. And, I, I think a, a way to put this, what I have in mind is that it will be the difference between something that can work versus something that needs to work. Um, because when, when I build a, a package, sometimes my motivation is being able to do that, to connect to a database, to integrate with some service. But there are a lot of more stories that maybe initially I don't, I don't care, I don't mind, I don't I don't have uh, those in my in in my priority list. So uh, there there is a different kind of challenge to to build to maintain something that can work versus something that needs to work. Um, and I so I have I have seen packages. I have been built packages my, uh, myself that are more exploratory, that their goals is to find a way, the crystal way to do something. And maybe I wasn't interested in maintaining that in the long run in a, in a, in a enterprise level uh, ready. Um, so, and, and both, are, both stories are fine. If I want to build something more exploratory, it's fine. If I want to maintain something that is enterprise ready, it's also perfectly fine. Um, my point is that we, you, you need to know which are your, your goals to, to avoid investing energy in something you might not want, to avoid uh, feeling you trapped. Again, both stories are, are really important. Um, the, I, so in, in other way, words, the difference is between implementing something with Crystal versus caring enough that the users will be able to to fulfill their needs with that thing that you are building. Again, I had my first share of packages that were more exploratory than anything else. I, I try to uh, explain that in the description, but I, I for sure I, I, I didn't do that in every single instance. Um, so uh, if I will need to pick one, um, suggestion is that when building pack packages for others, try not to be alone in its maintenance. Uh, be, try to have a, one other uh, collaborator to push things in the, in the right direction. Try to not be alone. Um, so, but that is why we want uh, companies to choose Crystal. But the, there is uh, some list of what the reasons that a company might not choose to, to use crystals. And these this reasons 
usually do, do not apply to enthusiasts, to individual enthusiasts. They're only stoppers for companies uh, as uh, not being 1.0, which we are working on, uh, having an unstable language and some library, lack of tooling and integrations, uh, small or non mature ecosystem, lack of learning resources. This, this list can go on and on, but it's, those are the, the, the main topics I, I've heard of. And I think that the good news is that uh, as a community, we are in total control and capacity to solve them, but we need to focus on them. Um, that there is all the reasons why not to choose Crystal are on, on our side to, to tackle them. Um, but then um, one, one could think, uh, so if we focus on, the, on those stories, is Crystal done? And I, I, I don't think so. Um, as, as I told, there is a constant feedback loop through, through uh, building applications to have more packages, to have more language features, um, to, to get that in, in a proof of concept and allow some uh, smooth evolution. So uh, I focus on, on those stories, on the company uh, adoption stories, does not need to impose a limit on the evolution of the language. Uh, but we need to work harder to avoid diminishing both efforts at the same time. Um, for example, if, if we do things uh, wrong and we break stability, um, people will probably let us know. Uh, people will complain. Uh, there will be some fire emojis going there, <laughs> there and some messages. But on the other hand, if we do things right and we have stable transitions, it's harder to know if we are doing things uh, right or we are being over uh, conservative because you will probably not don't know. So it's, it's, it's hard to, to know where the, the, the balance is between innovation and, uh, and conservative, I think. And at least that, that's, that's what happened to, to, to myself when we are trying to decide. Um, so again, I think that each new feature should be able to have an evolution phase to be able to get it right for the majority. I think that that, that is, is, is really, really important. Um, and beyond, as, as, as I mentioned, uh, when we were getting real, there are other stories that other than building packages that, that are really important to, to get a, a more stronger uh, community um, and, and reach. And they also play a, a huge role for company adoptions. Um, is, so building the compiler and the standard library is not the only, the only way to, to accomplish uh, the company adoptions in terms of features. Um, we, we need better tooling. Uh, we, we need to, for the community to come together uh, stronger and have a, a better way to spread the languages and their, their, uh, their values. Um, and, and, I, and I like all these stories to find the crystal way to do things because I think the, the, there's, there's a lot of to discover still, even when, when we plan the language, we, we can't foresee how things will be, will be used. I, I'm sure on some of the talk that we had today, we, we will see some of, some of this. Um, so, uh, and I mentioned something at the beginning about uh, sub-communities. Uh, and besides that all, all these stages that I, I've been through, uh, I, I've been talking through um, can apply to to different communities. I I also think that there is like I, I would like to see some kind of gathering or I don't know study groups uh, within Crystal for the community that has as a as a goal for maybe I don't know gaming graphic user interfaces name whatever your your subset mobile wh whatever. Uh, goal you have. I think that th there is interest in dif different topics, but there is a bit scattered. I have seen some um, discussions around uh, concept, uh, 
uh, besides jumping onto a certain stack, certain library to build the UI. I, I would like to see more discussions there. And I don't know if, if there is a way from the official channels uh, to boost these sub-communities somehow. I, that, that's mostly an, uh, a wishful thinking and an open question. But uh, I think that there is a lot of interest to use Crystal in some way. And, and there need to be those discussions before jumping into which library you will use. I think there is, there is value on those, on those discussions. So um, we're reaching more or less the, the end. I, I've been through a, a, a lot of information that I, I, I had this, uh, all these feelings mixed together. Uh, and I tried to explain somehow uh, in this talk. Um, if I want to, I want to pick some takeaways to, that the main things to for, for you to, to go out of this talk with is that um, having company adoption, I think it's really important for, for the next step. Um, a low evolution without breaking things uh, too much. We, we need to work on that. Um, there are many, many ways to contribute besides building packages or collaborating with the, with the compiler. Uh, those are listed before and they're really, really important. Uh, maintaining packages requires caring for users. Maintaining packages for others to use requires putting, I, I, putting those users in, in a special place, I think. Uh, otherwise, they're exploratory and they're fine. But I think there needs to be a distinction there. And in order to, to stay safe or more engaged with your work, uh, try to know your own goals and your motivations. Um, and with that, uh, I think that the next, the next thing to, uh, to happen, we'll see. It's, this story is to be continued. Um, Thank you very much. This is this is the end of the book. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Um, a lot of stuff to think about. Uh, there's a there's a number of questions. If you check out the Q and A. Oh yes, I, I, it we, was it was so uh, isolated in some. Is there this going through? You it's you can so trust me that 124 people were listening to you for the whole time, plus all the oh, people no. on the on the YouTube channel. So okay, Q &A. definitely. Um, so on the Q and A, if we start from the top and and take care of at least the the top three uh, questions, and then for any question that we don't manage to answer, if you want to join the main room debrief on Discord, uh, that's going to be a good opportunity to actually chat about it. Sure. Uh, so uh, a common argument against Crystal is the compiler is slow. Is that a valid concern for larger applications? If so. What's being done on the front on a short term and on a long term bias? Um, I think uh, for large, larger application, it could be a, a limit, but not depending on, on where you're trying to use Crystal. For example, many people think that microservices is a good idea and want to use Crystal there. In, that, in, in those um, scenarios, usually don't have huge amount of code. So the limit is, is, is not, uh, not something that we, that we worry. But also um, there are a lot of stories on, on LLVM that are being developed that might help uh, on some uh, improvements on the compile time. On the last months, there, are, there have been ideas, but not actual implementation of how to get things better. They're in the in the ideas realm. Um, so yeah, that was first question. Do you uh, this that was from Kevin Schioberg. Um And another question from the same person. I think the surname was pronounced like that. Sorry. Do you believe uh, the adoption of Crystal will rise when Crystal hits one? Oh, yes, definitely, because that's it's one of the points that companies can choose Crystal because it's not one oh. Um, it, this also comes with a, a lot a lot of other stories like how to we are trying to shift packages in unstable stable nightly. Uh, there are a lot of motivations of stories that are pushed because you want to be one oh and that 
comes with another other things. Um, anonymous attendee uh, ask, I know Crystal works on Windows. Do you see Windows as a first class target in the future? Uh, yes, I, 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 I think that that will happen, uh, definitely. Um, a question and about- also yeah. An interesting question on, on GUI programming uh, and I'll just mention that there's a, there's a talk on C bind, about C binding in the uh, uh, later by postmodern that I, I invite people interested in, in GUI development, desktop development in particular, to attend. Um, and I have to say that I've seen quite a lot of interest around uh, desktop uh, application development. Uh, what's your take, Ryan? Um, talking about different areas in application is interesting. Um, I. I think there is. Uh, I have seen many posts of uh, gaming, for example, and there are bindings to libraries. I myself, uh, very early in the language, even before we have uh, keyword arguments, I play around with a binding of Cocoa, for example, and using uh, nib files or zip files to build a UI in Xcode. Uh, that, I, I like that. Like, being uh, so, so much time on, on, the, on the web development, going to, to native U applications, to GUI applications, it's, it's great, it's, it's somehow refreshing. Um, I think there is, there, there is interest. Yeah, um, this is again about a zoo community. So I think we, we need to gather together to, to have shared goals and, and aim better the, the efforts. 